So first of all, I'm going to push my uh, power on button and it goes through some diagnostics. And this is an alert that you might see from time to time, and it just happens to be on this device that I'm using, and it's saying that maintenance is recommended. So you simply come up and press the silence button. You're still able to program the device. It's just after you use it, I would recommend tagging it and sending it on down to Biomed. So once it's finished with its um, power up sequences, now we're at our uh, care areas or our profiles. And I'm gonna be using the number two, the neonatal one or less kilos, and I'll choose number two. And then I'll press my drug. I'm looking for ampicillin. So A through B, remember these categories are right here so we can get to the alphabet quickly. So I'll hit one. Then I'm gonna page down or next to get to my ampicillin. And one more, and there we are, number four. I'm using 60 milligrams per mil. Yes, that's what I want. And now I'm gonna load my syringe by releasing all the barrel clamps. Let me lift it up, position it in, and then squeeze the flange here and then load it into my tubing clamp so it reduces any kinking in our line. I'm gonna choose BD, because that's what I have. I have a BD three. Gives me a one or a three choice. Make sure I hit the three. And then I'm gonna confirm that's what I have. My patient weighs one kilo. And we're going to do 30 milligrams. And I'm gonna press enter. And I'm gonna give this over Instead of 15 minutes, I'm gonna give it over 30 minutes. And then I'm gonna press enter. And I'm confirming that these are my settings by pressing yes. Then I, before I press um, anything else now, I've got to press my prime and bolus key we talked about earlier. So you'll press and hold that down until you see fluid come to the end of your tubing or whatever the priming volume on the set that you're using once it reaches that. When you see that, let go, and then go back to press the exit button. Now we're ready to connect it to our baby and press the green button to start. And you'll see our... So here's an example of an alarm that says the syringe is near empty. This could happen. You may just wanna make sure that you have all your uh, syringe loading all properly and in place. So just double check that. And then I will just try to press the green button to start it again. So now I've manipulated the numbers so that I can show you what happens when the entire ampicillin infusion has completed. So I'm just waiting for about 45 more seconds to count down so you can see what happens when we reach the end of our ampicillin infusion. So you get the alarm, which is a high priority because it's blinking red. So you go, go over here and press your silence key. And now you automatically go to what's called a begin flush setup. The flush setup is only available for intermittence or volume over time infusions. So I'm going to say yes, that I want to begin my flush setup. And this is assuming that I've um, replaced my syringe with a flush syringe. So I do have another 3 ml syringe placed in here and I'm going to say yes, begin my flush setup. I do still have to confirm what type of syringe it is. And I'm only going to do the priming volume of what's in my tubing so that I can ensure what's remaining in the tubing of antibiotic, the entire dose gets to my patient. So the priming volume of my particular set was 0.7 and I'm just gonna let it continue at the same rate that it was running. Then I'll just press confirm and I'll press start.